All right, first ever video like this. I'm so excited to do this. I've never just filmed a day, other than tournament days. I've never really just filmed and put on there as much as I possibly can without just doing an eight or nine hour video of like what it's like with me a day on the water. Like how I, I fish a lake or how I fish a lake I kind of know but yet still I'm trying to learn because that's how I view all fishing. I just go out there to learn stuff. I want to catch fish in the process, don't get me wrong, but it's it's this tournament mindset of me always trying to go find the next best thing, always. And I want to know if y'all have the mentality for that. Do y'all go out fishing with the same way? If not, maybe you should make a change. Maybe you need to start viewing fishing and when you go out there on a lake and view it this way. And what I mean by that is this. In this video, you're going to see me do a lot of different things. You're going to see me leave fish continuously. Walk, like I'm catching fish and I'm going to leave them to go do other stuff. I'm going to do different stuff throughout the entire day. I'm going to fish shallow. I'm going to fish deep. I'm going to fish with live scope sometimes. I'm going to go totally without live scope. I'm going to go throw top waters. I'm going to go throw deep. I, I spin a rod, big rod, doesn't matter. And I'm always doing that. And what that allows you to do, oh, oh, and I go crappie fishing. I, I get stuck. I, I go crappie fishing like seven or eight different times just because I see some crappie and want to catch a couple. And that's how my mind works on these lakes. Like I'm, I'm always learning and I'm always trying to figure new things out. If you go out there sometimes, sometimes you need to, and you want to go figure out one thing, I get it. But it's amazing what happens if you're, if you're constantly trying to learn something new and trying to figure more things out. And like, okay, I know how to do this. Let's go change it up. Boy, the, when you do that, the amount of fish you might catch in a day, the amount of times where the grass is greener, right? You think you found some fish, and the next thing you know, you found even bigger fish. The next thing you know, you even found bigger fish and more fish. And that's how I approach a lake. This video is, I want you to watch the video. I know it's long, but I, I want you to see, do I do this? You need to ask yourself, do I approach a lake like this? Have I ever approached a lake like this? And a, a lake you know. Have I ever gone out to a lake I know and quit catching fish, knew you could catch more, and then went and started doing something different? Throughout the entire day, I did that. Ask yourself that. And if not, if you do ask yourself that and you've never done it, say, let's go try it. Try it one time. I'm used to it. I do it on all these lakes. It's just normal to me. But I, I never thought about it. I'm like, man, I wonder if other people do it because I don't think people do. So check out this video. See how I approach it. I could tell you how I approach it, but I want y'all to actually see me do it. So that is what this video is about. Um, I think the learning curve on this, it, this could be one of the biggest learning curves ever in fishing for you. I really believe that. Um, I'm gonna do more of these, so get ready. You might even see bits and pieces in this in other videos, because I was showing you the little bitty different aspects of these different patterns, but I wanted y'all to see that I do this all in one day. So here it is, hope y'all enjoy. Oh, pop and perch.
through the thick stuff. In there somewhere. Quick. Hey, 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 y'all hunting or fishing? You are hunting? Well, no, I don't want to mess y'all up. I mean, I... Okay, that's what I figured, but I wanted to make sure. You don't... I'm not going to mess y'all up? Okay. I didn't... Man, I was out here last week, but it was kind of after that, that north wind pushed through, and I didn't see any. And it makes it better to win when I set the hook, you know, and they start running and they start doing their thing, I'm able to like keep up with them a lot better. That's why I want a stouter rod. That's why I want heavier line. Uh, all that makes a difference. So, put that on there. I'm going to fill it up. You can watch. I have a whole bunch of my line to when that happens. I'm going to go here. I'm also going to get some pirate hunters out. Pretty dirty up here, so I want to. Yeah. Right, this looks a little smooth on it. Go smooth on the one. This is the shallow one, regular size. And then I will probably, well, I'll put the other one on. I don't know if I'm going to, I'll just see what the grass looks like. I'll tie it on there. Just so if I see it, just a possibility, I'll throw it. So there's one. I'm already up here.
Okay, swim jig, three eighth ounce. The one just busted right there. Three eighth ounce, white swim jig. 25 pound Sunline sniper. What I put on there, shooter. I'm not really too worried about it. Whatever I put on there. And then I cut a bit off the head of this, but it's the ghost shad and the uh, swimming caffeine shad. Now, where's my. I even have a glide bait. I don't want to mess around with the glide bait in here. I think what I want to do is put it on my Carolina rig rod. I think that's what I want. I think that's what I want most of my glide bait to be on. I think. I'm pretty sure. Finally rigged up. I think I'm finally rigged up with everything. Got some crappie poles up here. I'm taking this line off just because I didn't have enough line on there. So I could kind of go with, when I'm swim jigging like this, and the water's pretty dirty, and I just don't understand why, here's my thought on all this, and I've told you all this a thousand times. You can go as heavy as you want to go, to a degree, right? I mean, there's no reason to go 50 pounds. But what I'm saying is, is like, it's not like you're losing anything if you go 25 pound test line. Now, I can't see a negative at all whatsoever. And the reason that is, is like, I just don't want to break off. 
And when I break off, I, I feel more. I can get more of a hook set. I can do all kinds of stuff. There's less stretch. And it's going to matter. It's going to... I got to my knot. It's going to matter over time. And so my deal is, is I could go 20, 21, 22. But here's the other thing. And you're going to see it today. It's going to happen. Guaranteed it's going to happen. Um, what's going to happen is, is these fish are going to like scream out of this shallow water. Like when you set the hook, they're going to scream out of there. And they're going to like, it's going to be hard to keep up with them. You're, you want a fast reel. You know, a, a high gear ratio, seven to one, eight to one, anything like that. And you're gonna want to be able to like catch up to these fish. And I just, I just want as much line on the reel as possible. I think it's a, it, it's the biggest mistake I see with people, and I think it's the biggest mistake in reels. Um, I have the 300 Super Duty. I always talk about that reel. And I can put a whole bunch of line on it. I was with some buddies the other day. And I've always heard this. And I'll be honest with you. I've never been able to do it. And they're always like, yeah, I can throw the line off the reel. And I'm like, I've never been able to throw a line off the reel. Like, I can't make it. I can't cast that far. And I think I can cast pretty far. Well, I got on theirs. And I made a cast. And I'm like, well, yeah, I can cast. You don't have very much line on there. Like the reel so the reel the spool on the reel is so shallow. And I just I don't I don't understand why people like that. Like that's how much line I have on there. Cause I, I spice it in together. That's how line are how much line I already have on there. I can't cast that all out when I feel this up. And it makes it better to when when I set the hook, you know. And they start running and they start doing their thing i'm able to like keep up with them a lot better that's why i want a stouter rod that's why i want heavier line uh, all that makes a difference so i'm putting that on there i'm gonna fill it up you can watch and now i have a whole bunch of my line to when that happens I'm also going to get some hybrid hunters out. Let's see. It's pretty dirty up here. So I want to eh, probably just go mm, Got to go smooth on them. This is the shallow one. Regular size. And then I will probably... I'll put the other one on. I don't know if I'm going to... I'll just see what the grass looks like. I'll tie it on there. Just so if I see it, just a possibility, I'll throw it. I don't know if I'll go a different color. Let me see what I got in there. Sometimes I just pick something if it just stands out to me. Let's see here. Ooh, what about sweet shad? If I just happen to pick up. Where, do I have sweet shad? Might not have sweet shad. I gotta fill up my hybrid hunter box. I think kind of low. Interesting. I'll throw that color. Blue crawl. Okay, swim jig. Three eighth ounce. Well one just busted right there. Three eighth ounce. White swim jig. Twenty-five pound sunline sniper. Or what I put on there? Shooter? I'm not really too worried about it. Whatever I put on there. And then I cut a bit off the head of this. But it's the ghost shad and the uh, swimming caffeine shad. 
Now, where's my... I even have a glide bait if I want to mess around with the glide bait any. Alright. I finally rigged up. I think I'm finally rigged up with everything. Got some crappie poles up here. Number one. And get this out of the way. And get this out of the way. Alright, what I want to start with first. The swim jig. And really, see, look at that. I can't cast all that out. Look how far of a cast it is. It's over 100 feet. <laughs> so I just, like I told you, man, like the, the whole, oh, I can cast the line out of a reel watch this see i want my reel full when it hits the water out there i don't want all my line out the gear ratio changes when you don't have that much line out my gear ratio is still high it's still able to hold a whole bunch of line it's still able to reel in line just as fast and like i said you'll see it out here what will happen and people don't realize this is is when they catch fish and they scream out especially on a bait like this on a swim jig particularly watch how many times they don't jump and what will happen is they'll eat this whole swim jig so they'll be able when you fight them they'll be able to close their mouths when they can close their mouths that's when they can really swim fast when they open their mouths that's when you feel all the drag and and they usually don't scream out as much but when they have a when they have the whole bait in their mouth and they're able to close it that's when they swim really, really fast and streak. And so many people lose fish when they do that. They lose contact. I'm trying not to lose contact with them. So I don't know if I'm trying to find the, like bare spots or throw in the thickest stuff. It's hard to say until you first get out here. So I just kind of fish around for a while might not even have anything to do with that it might be a, a depth thing there's an old shallow one let's try the old shallow hybrid hunter see if I can get him to them up a little bit so dirty be able to hear it lose a lot more water louder gets their attention it's perfect for this kind of stuff this grass see how it kind of just it'll come right through a lot of that grass even though it is all the way up to the surface basically it's starting to show a little action finally what's cool is you can still reel this thing as fast as you want to or as slow as you want to Right, if you want to slow it down, creep it, and creep it, it still runs the same. Or you can speed it as fast as you want to. When they'll hit it on the pause, they'll hit it when it gets floats up. They'll hit it when it comes up to the surface. It's it's pretty cool because they'll do a, a couple little different things. 
I like to kind of keep it up high sometimes, depending on, you know, the level of the grass. So if I see grass up there, just like you would a crankbait or anything else, you can throw it up there and keep it high, almost like a weight bait. And as it gets closer, if the grass tapers down with you, you can just lower your rod tip. See, even if I go through kind of thick grass, I can just kind of pop it pretty hard. It's just not going to get bogged down like like other crankbaits will. And don't get me wrong, it'll still get hung up, but you got to realize I'm throwing in, I mean, it's pretty thick right there. Big one too, good one. I freaking hammered it. Took about five minutes to get a bite. I got one though. I thought he was bigger than that. Look, look at how he ate that thing. Freaking gone. Look at that. That's how they eat a hybrid hunter. <laughs> that is how they eat that thing right there. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Damn it, that far down in there. Oh, shallow hybrid hunter. Heck yeah. I knew. All right. Let's get to work. God, he hit that thing hard. I mean, smashed it. Hoo, 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 hoo. There she was. Come back and eat that squirrel. Yeah, I can't believe she missed it. Let's try the old top water. Let's see. See if they're gonna eat it.
Oh God. Come on, come back. <laughs> I can't believe you missed it. I saw another one just bust. Sexy dog him, frog him, hybrid hunter him, swim jig him. I might as well throw my frog out there. I'm gonna find a group of them. I have to. It makes too much sense not to. I'll find them. Oh my gosh, it's the second big one that's freaking I think it's so I don't know what it is. I think it's the grass I'm fishing. And I think I got them pinned down on location.
God dang it. <laughs> and they are missing everything. Caught that thing too. It's like I can't catch them unless they show themselves. Swim jig. Good one too. A freaking good one. I mean, hooked. That's how you want them hooked. You can't freaking lose that thing. Come on, fish. There's more of you up here than that. I don't understand why you're being so difficult today. But I've had, had some bites today. That's the crazy thing. And they've all been pretty good ones. Just had a lot of a miss for some reason. Is, which is quite strange. Sometimes I have to re-glue this thing. Actually, I don't know if I ever glued it to begin with. This stuff what is going on here? I'm not a fan of that. Let me see if that thing's swimming right. That's fine. real quick see if it matters I doubt it's going to could be wrong though Dang it. Come on, fish. Quit missing.
freaking ridiculous. I'm, I'm missing something here. I do not get it. Got him. What is that? Is that a bass or a catfish? That's a big old bass. Oh my gosh. I live scoped him. A freaking giant. <laughs> I mean, a giant. I didn't think it was a bass. Only old final copy. Come here. How, how big is that thing? Well, freaking thing's pretty big. I doctored this one up a little bit. I got that. I guess we call it the Carolina Chrome. Golly, that thing smashed it. Look at that big one. Oh, that's a that's a eight pounder right there. Easy. All right. Hey, there you go. All right. That's the Carolina Chrome, and I, I just got a magic marker. Freaking toned it down a little bit. Mm. Hmm. It was such a big blob on the screen, I didn't think it was a bass. Gosh, you hammered it. I thought it was a catfish, I'll be honest with you. Even when it started fighting. Interesting. I guess I've caught so a fish on just about everything.
Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Even on that MBT, it looked it looked so big and just gaudy on it. Good thing I threw at it though. There's another one. Look at that big one. <laughs> this final copy's the deal. Freaking heck yeah. Hey, all right. Get on off. Get on off that thing. I was gonna see if I could boat flip it. I was a little worried about it. I can do this. This is fun. <laughs> this, this is fun. She's just sitting way, way up high in the water column. Well, it's crazy. It's two for two. I'm seeing them out there. Unlike the fish I see and then them biting, which is pretty crazy. If you ask me, it didn't always work that way. I see another one in there in the screen. I don't know how big it is. There's something real big out there. I mean, real big. I mean, it looks like a giant, whatever it is. I threw on it, if it sees it. I missed it. All right, she's, she's somewhere in there. Mmm. Bite it. Bite it. That was a bass. It ran from it. It's alright. Big old crappie.
Toads. Toads.
Hey, there's my bait. That ain't good. Oh, it's sinking. Oh, God. I gotta fight the fish. I don't even know if I can get him back in there or not. Still got him. I don't know if I have another one. Another big one. Not a bad one. All right, let's see here. All right, that looks like that's done. It's all right. That was one of the prototypes. But I'm gonna keep it. Cause I like that color. See if I have anything else close to that. I don't know if I do. I got a. I got this thing. I got this thing. Okay, I need. Doctor this up. Mm. All right. I don't think this is the right rod for it. What is this? This is a medium heavy. I'm going to put on, I don't know what I'm going to do. Well, let's just see. I'm not really worried about catching them. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot, but it it looks like it's not gonna be. Um, it looks like someone would actually go buy it. Yeah. As the other thing looks. No, the cube make the cube just looks stupid. Yeah. And and I don't think you're gonna. You know. Yeah, but anyways. But I still haven't done anything amazing with that. I, I did catch a fish on the variety of bait. Yeah, I got I got bit on it. I think I think that I just found a bunch of fish while I'm on the phone with you. I think. And I threw that in there and they didn't bite it like a bunch. I don't know. We're about to see. I threw a crankbait in there and it feels like I just got smashed. I don't know, there are so many of them. I don't know what they are. They might not be bass. Yeah. That, that's a lot of the sonar stuff. Did, did he call you or anything? No. Those are bass. Hold on, I got one. Man, there's like a hundred of them down there. <laughs> and uh, those are bass, okay? I just threw an 8XD down there and freaking caught one. Um, I threw that little bait on a drop shot and did not catch one. 
Um, I'm gonna call him up okay. and uh, and kind of talk to him about because he's got them all marked and see, you know. Yeah, so I, so I got the same same uh, kit that you got. I'm doing some testing and like looking at the differences between the two. I'm going like super scientific with it right now. I got this weird. I got a bunch of weird stuff going on right now. Trying to see if there's a big a, a difference between one of the two. Uh, but you got some painted samples, some injected samples. You got stuff that's just kind of like your baseline. I, I don't know what they uh, named it, but it's probably um, uh, what was it? they named it uh, control. So the control is the one with nothing in it, no paint or injected. So our stuff. Um, so. Just see if there's any improvement on on any of them, and, and base it all off the control. Okay. Um, and then there's certain ones that have are like kind of doubled. There's like painted gray, painted black, silver two, silver one. Obviously, those are different formulas of it. So if one's better than the other, we need to know so we can keep going down one of those routes. Right. Dude, there, listen. Oh. Sorry. No, I freaking, I haven't changed my, my 6XD in like three months, or my 8XD. And I just broke off. She came up and jumped. Dude, listen, there are so many of them. Like, I've heard about this, and I've done it every once in a while, but I'm hitting, like, my crank, my, my bait's just down there running into them. Yeah. And I, it's funny that I did throw that little stupid whatever bait down in and they didn't they didn't just bite that thing. Whatever. I'm gonna keep on I have I, No, I'll show them to I'll, I'll screen record it and send it to you. Yeah, yeah, do that. I I I have to whenever I get off the phone with you I'll I'll have to do it, I'll screen record it. Uh, not in this lake. I got one on right now. I'm just trying to crank them and do something before, because I know if I throw like a Ned rig, I'll catch like, I'll catch them. So I'm trying to like, I just caught one on a 6XD. Uh, luckily I had a couple more crankbaits in here. I'm trying to like throw something. But
I'm the best crappie fisherman around. <laughs>
of a big one. Yeah, once why you gotta catch a big old bass while you're crappie fishing. Get on out of here. Get on out of here, bass. I'm trying to catch some crappie. Golly. I can't get over there quick enough to him. <laughs> 